back to my channel if you are here for the first time my name is Bree Jamila and I welcome you to my channel and if you guys are already a subscriber guys thank you so much for tuning into yet another video guys I know I've been gone for a little bit but your girl's been really trying to get her mind right physically mentally spiritually and emotionally and always financially child but I kind of want to do a different video today with you guys I kind of want to just like have a venting video where I just talk about different different things they're not even going to be related the sun is glaring as I was saying sorry about that I want to talk about just how just random things that I've just been feeling and going through lately and just kind of like put it in a video I've never done that so I'm like maybe somebody else could relate maybe somebody else feeling that type of way and don't know how to express it so here we are <laughs> so first thing i kind of wanted to touch on was like emotions and really being hard on myself and all the things that i like deal with emotionally like i'm a type of person whoever knows me knows i don't talk about how i feel like i keep that ish bottled up until i explode or i literally have nothing left to give <laughs> i am that person i know that's a bad trait i am in therapy we are working on it <laughs> but I realize, you know, lately I've been crying a lot. Like, I've been crying a lot lately. And I'm not a crier. Like, I'm a type of person, I thug it out. I always thug it out. And I realize, like, that thug it out mentality is literally what's breaking me, if that makes sense. So, like, one of the things I want to touch on was, like, you know, not being where I want to be at 30. You know, like, and I know 30 is, like, the new 20s as they say but for me I just feel like I wasted a lot of my 20s living my best life thinking that I had time and not saying I don't have time but we all have a number you know what I mean so I just feel like I kind of wasted that period of my life and I didn't do anything with it if that makes sense and I kind of I'm feeling the backlash of it now like you know going to school you know your brain kind of it develops but it gets a little bit you're not able to retain as much information as you once were when you were younger that's just what it comes down to and I feel like you know at 30 I thought I'd been married house kids living my whole best life like and I know at 30 that's like huge but you know for me that's just kind of where I want to be like career would be set in place and it's just like you know I'm not there yet am I working towards that absolutely I have a good job or whatever and I'm working on having a better career obviously because you, anyone who knows you knows I'm basically a nurse or whatever and I went back to school to be a mental health therapist you know I just feel like I can help a lot of people who deal with mental health issues due to the fact that like child I've been there I felt that I felt low and depressed and all these type of things and didn't know how to manage my feelings or you know didn't know that I need to talk to somebody in order to get better or feel better or even do better so I just feel like you know where I'm at in my life it just feels like I'm at a kind of a standstill even though I'm doing stuff to get to the next phase if that makes sense but it does feel like I'm at a standstill it does feel like I'm not moving it does feel like I'm not doing enough I feel like I should be like running a marathon every day like I just feel like I'm not where I want to be at 30 and I'm probably not going to be where I want to be at 31 who knows I don't know but you know I'm just at a place where I feel like I want to stop beating up on myself um, for not being where I want to be, if that makes any sense. Um, and I know a lot of people can relate to that. You just feel like you should be further. You should be doing more. You should be more effective. You should be, you know, knocking down stone mountains and walls and all type of crap. But sometimes, you know, that's not how life works. That's not your journey. That's not your purpose. So... I'm learning to just understand that, you know, my time is, you know, continue to do what I'm doing and just pray and just know that better things are ahead. And it this is not going to always be the way I'm going to be feeling. Like, I'm not gonna, always going to feel stuck. I'm not gonna, always going to feel like I'm not doing enough. I'm not going to, you know, well, hopefully, because <laughs> the Virgo in me, child, Godspeed. <laughs> Godspeed. But that's one of the first things I want to touch on is just making sure that I stop making myself feel like i'm not doing enough that's huge for me like so i know if you could relate drop your comments below because i definitely want to hear what you have to say about that 
Next up, I want to talk on relationships and heartbreak and trauma and how we don't realize how it really affects us as we get older. So for me, I had someone come back into my life that I've known for a very long time and I didn't realize how much effect they had on me and how they can make me feel so bad so quickly. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm a type of person I don't really, like I don't, like, you like you know how you feel good about yourself like i just be like okay like i know i look good I, I to me i know i'm pretty to me i'm not pretty to everybody and i don't really care but i'm pretty to me so that's all i matter <laughs> um but you know like have you ever met someone that makes you feel you know less than um not worthy or not pretty enough or not good enough and i'm like you know i realized that i should not have anybody in my life romantically especially that makes you feel like you're not good enough that makes you feel like you're not worthy enough you know and i'm being very transparent i'm being very open with you guys because i feel like people don't talk about that people don't make it seem like other people can make you feel bad about yourself no matter how pretty you think you are no matter how amazing you think you are there's somebody out there that can literally mess up your self-esteem like you know shuffle it a bit and i realize like you know that person was that for me and i had to realize you know you don't deserve to be in my space in my area or anything of that nature because you don't make me feel good about myself you know and i want to surround myself with people who make me feel good make love me and cherish me and appreciate me whether that's romantically or platonically you know and i realize you people some people just don't change people do not change and people are who they say they are like when you see someone show you who they are believe them stop trying to always think that they are new they are changed because you haven't talked to them in a while and i think i had to get the backlash of that and realize like listen we can have that you know and i'm happy that um it took a lot of like really like really digging deep and be like you know why do you allow why did you allow somebody to come back in who you made you feel that way why did you allow you know certain things to transpire between you two like even having conversations and stuff like that and sometimes it's a comfortability thing you know you just feel comfortable with the person and you're just like well you know it's familiar and i feel like sometimes that's a bad habit that we all have um to want to be comfortable wanting to be in a space of familiarity because that can literally break you because a person knows that you're vulnerable like you you know you 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 cling to them in a sense if that makes any sense that's probably the wrong word to use but that one's like a big thing for me like so i just realized you know certain people especially romantically and if they've caused you trauma let them go no matter how much it hurts to let a person go let them go and i'm learning that and i'm living that and I, it's like a literally today type of thing like i'm filming this video and i'm just even thinking to myself like yo i've let people hurt me time and time and time and time again and i i'm a forgiver like i genuinely forgive people i don't know how grudges it's not my thing but i realize some people you just can't like you got to give them the cold shoulder like you can't even be nice to them like you have to just be like nah boundary stay the hell away from me um and i'm learning that i'm learning that i cannot you know be open and be that good person to people because a lot of people are not that you know what i mean you know you just gotta take them for what they are and keep it pushing and that's kind of like where i'm at with that especially when you know you've been nothing but good to a person you don't deserve for anyone to make you feel less than unworthy unappreciated not good enough like no woman or man deserves that so if you're hearing this i just want you to understand and know that you are worth it you deserve it um you deserve happiness um kindness you deserve love you deserve appreciation you deserve a thoughtful understanding partner um and if you're not getting those things among other things you know be out don't sit in a place where anyone can make you feel that you are you don't deserve those things okay so that's one of the things i definitely want to touch on you know just learning when to let people go and learning to know that you're worth you're important you deserve to be happy period and one of the last things i want to touch on in this video is knowing the type of friends that you have in your circle um for this past 
couple weeks where I've just been low. When I mean low, I've been low. And I feel like I've probably been low, lower <laughs> in life. <laughs> but I've just been feeling so low. And certain people you just can't tell certain things to. And I think I finally got to that point where I realized who I can and cannot tell things to. Um, who I can and cannot disclose certain information to. Um, I, you know, have told my friends certain things that has happened in my life and certain things. And I just realized who receives the information and judges and who takes the information and really genuinely gives me good advice or, you know, want to see where my head is at or genuinely just checks up on me like, hey, how you doing? Are you good? And the person who I tell, I think I tell damn near everything too, she know who she is. Um, you know, I just want to say thank you for, you know, dealing with me and my crap all the time. <laughs> I text you that all the time, like, thank you for dealing with my BS because, child, I'm a mess. But, you know, I thank you because, you know, having good, solid, supportive friends um, in your corner when you are low or even though they don't even know how low you are is important. And a person like me, I don't tell people how I feel. Like, I keep it in. It is something that I don't, I don't like to feel weak. I don't like to look weak. I don't like to, um, give off that, you know, I can't handle it type of thing. And I realize, you know, sometimes, especially the older I get, I can't handle it. Like, there's certain things I cannot handle. There's sometimes I need to just break down and cry. There's times that I need to, like, regroup and just say, hey, how did you get here? <laughs> Why are you here? You know? So I'm very happy that I do have someone I can go to and just say, hey, I did X, Y, and Z, or I feel X, Y, and Z, and even if it's the same conversation or the same topic, I know that it's no judgment there, it's a judgment-free zone, and I also realize that people who, you're gonna judge me no matter what, you know what I mean? And friend or not, I just realized I, need, I need to put people in specific categories, and I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but I've never been a type of friend to put people in categories. I've never been on some, okay, um, I know I can't tell you certain things or I know I can't do certain things with you. I've never had that. I just always assumed that because my circle was so small that, you know, I could treat all of you the same. And I realized the older I get, I cannot do that. I need to be able to differentiate, you know, who's going to support me even through my foolishness or who's going to support me when I do make a mistake, you know? Um, and also friends that do hold you accountable but accountable in a way where they're not throwing shade disrespecting you or um making you feel less than you know what i mean so i realize like you know i only want people in my circle in my space whether romantically or platonically that uplift me and you know you know can give me good advice but at the same time you know hold me accountable for you know anything that I've done that I shouldn't have done or hold me accountable for you know my actions and you know let me know like hey Britt that wasn't good <laughs> hold up <laughs> you know but at the same time be like listen you know I support you throughout whatever if you need me I'm here blase blase because I know deep down I am that person I am that friend I'm not going to judge you because we all do stupid things we all make stupid mistakes and you know I'm never going to judge anybody because no one is perfect you know we are not God we are not you know anything we sin every day so I just always want to remind remind myself of that like I make mistakes and no one can judge me you are not God you can't judge me um but that was a big one for me going into 31 is making me realize like you need to differentiate the people in your life you need to break it down and understand that certain things certain people you gotta you gotta you know move off because it's not the same energy they don't carry the same energy as you they don't carry the same spirit as you they don't have the same heart as you you know what i mean and that's okay you know you know that that's the type of friend you know y'all probably just kick it in have a go out to eat and stuff you leave it at that every friend don't gotta be in your personal business or in your everyday business or whatever the case may be so definitely learning that definitely taking that one that was a hard pill to swallow for me i'm not gonna hold y'all but i definitely realized yeah i gotta y'all know what i'm trying to say so to kind of close this video up it was really just me ranting about you know how i've been feeling lately and i've i've been really like low 
you know, like low emotionally. And sometimes I really realize that, you know, you gotta recharge, you gotta reset. Um, that's kind of when I kind of like took a step back from YouTube because mentally I wasn't able to give you the content that you needed or what you wanted because I wasn't here mentally and emotionally. I wasn't together. Um, and I'm still going through like the motions of it, if that makes any sense. But I realized like you can't let people in your life, friends, family, um, relationships, platonic or romantic stop you from you know, being the best version of yourself, doing the things that you love and, you know, just living in your, like, your light and your purpose. Don't let anyone make you dark. And I feel like a lot of people around me try to make me dark, try to make me mean and evil. And I'm like, no, I'm doing the work. As my sister would say, I'm doing the work, okay? Which is the therapy and the reading the books and trying to become a better person. So I definitely, definitely, definitely would just, you know, want to put this video out to just let you guys know, like, it's okay to feel, like, low. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be depressed. It's okay to be going through stuff. But know that, you know, don't stay there. Don't stay in that place. Don't stay in a place of you're not okay, you know? get up out of that place because the people around you that's making you feel like that they're living their best life they are living their best life after they made you feel like that so just remember that and keep that in mind um if you enjoyed this video <laughs> please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share i feel like that was really freaking heavy but <laughs> it's okay it's okay sometimes we gotta get heavy on this channel but I thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one.